wild Alaska, home to bears, mountains, glaciers, along with some of the toughest roads in the world. This is where the Bajaj Domina Polar Odyssey began. Three Indian riders embarked on an odyssey that would stretch from the North Pole to the South Pole, spanning four months, 50,000 kilometers and 17 countries. The Domina Polar Odyssey, an epic journey from the Arctic to the Antarctic, started out at Anchorage. The Alaskan part of the Polar Odyssey would take three Domina riders through two of the world's toughest roads, where the first would hit them right at the start of the journey. Dalton Highway. The James W. Dalton Highway slices through the wildest and northernmost parts of Alaska, ending at Dead Horse, the furthest motorable point on the Arctic Circle. 666 kilometers of unserviced gravel road, infamously known as the loneliest road on the planet. We are here on the Dalton Highway, a road filled with potholes, uneven dips, making this one of the most challenging and dangerous roads in the world. Even though the Arctic winters were just a few months away from covering the entire road in ice and snow, the slippery permafrost would often test the rider's courage. We've just covered 120 kilometers of these roads. Can you believe it? And I have another 210 kilometers to go on this road. The tough road could also be rewarding. It would pass the Denali National Park home to the 300 kilo grizzly bears and some pretty special friends en route. Avi, you had a close encounter with the bear. Yesterday, I went into the parking lot. I take a turn and in front of me, 20 feet away, there's this huge grizzly bear walking towards me. And I thought it's gonna kill me and I'm dead. From cold foot to dead horse, the road would only get lonelier. No gas stations, no medical facilities, no hotels, no cell phone or radio reception. The bikes are a mess. These are calcium carbonate combined slush, which gets uh, stuck onto the bikes and if not washed immediately, can start uh, corroding uh, the metal parts. Look at that, dripping. Look at the chains. If you can see, that's the three double photo. And sometimes, the only companion the riders would have was a reclusive oil pipeline that lay adjacent to the dirt road. That's the uh, oil getting pumped all the way from Prudhoe Bay. Somewhere out there is Dead Horse and the Arctic Ocean. But in all this wilderness, out of nowhere, came a homely Indian restaurant at the very edge of the American continent. Hi. Where are you from? From Jordan. The land of the mighty Dhoni. <laughs> 1,300 kilometers and five days later, history was made. The riders conquered one of the toughest roads on the planet and rode further than any Indian motorcycle, making the Bajaj Domina the first Indian bike to reach the Arctic Circle and Dead Horse. Signing off on a historic moment for us Indians. Deepak Gupta, Vinash, hey. and myself Deepak. Not soon after leaving the frigid cold and extreme polar winds behind, our riders would face the next beast of their journey. Would man and machine stand the test? It looks like it's a special message only for us. This is the stretch of road that we have been warned. This is the challenge we've been waiting for. So here it is. So we are at the start. Let's roll guys. Fun begins. Dempster Highway, yet another dangerous road at the edge of the world. This one would take our riders to Taktoyaktuk, a small hamlet town surrounded by the frigid Arctic Ocean. Riding on this, you, know, you can see this, you know, very loose gravel and pretty deep as well. 
He's keeping the wind aside. This gravel surfaced highway passes through the 700 kilometers sub Arctic wilderness, where freezing rain and treacherous roads would often slow them down to just 20 kilometers per hour. Dempster's not been good to us at all. The entire radiators are clogged. Vehicles are getting heated. Okay, we're just about opening up the radiator. The dempster, this is what it is. It looks like a Paleolithic stone. Yeah. So one's here, one more is here. Yeah. We've had few punctures, possibly all stone hits. As we head towards the Arctic Ocean, we have lots and lots of lakes here. I just call it land of a million lakes. Even after riding through mile after mile of wet, dusty gravel, these harsh challenges brought out the best in both man and machine. Appreciate the support that this bike is giving on these roads. Absolutely sturdy. Absolutely no issues with the bike at all. And they finally conquered two of the toughest roads on earth. It's a proud moment for us as Indians to have reached here and made a landmark visit into Koyaktuk. This is Land's End in Canada. Hey, yeah. those pingos. Okay, so anyway, what happens is the water comes underneath and freezes, and as the ice expands, it pushes the earth up and creates the hill. So those are the pingos there, and that's why Tuktoyaktuk is called as the land of the pingos. Yeah. The polar odyssey has barely started. More than 40,000 kilometers left to travel, hundreds of small towns to be explored, and two entire continents remain to be tamed.